take out the seven. The 34th consecutive season of the professional bowlers throw will kick off Saturday, January 14th in 1995. the crowd here in the Toronto area. The architecture in nearby Toronto has a look of the old and the new. Okay, here is Marshall Holman trailing by 21 pins going against Pete Weber who has two victories already today. Watch Holman steady all the way through with those head and shoulders. Watch Holman's just nice and steady all the way through. It's one of the things that has made him so great over the years. I do believe the greatest players of all time have kept that head in a parallel, as parallel as they could to their approach and the, the floor. Yes, these great players get coaching like Marshall uh, attributes his uh, success in the last four weeks, especially to Dave Smart, Dave Rosio, and John Jowdy. And Pete credits John Jowdy and uh, Billy Hall. Right now, Pete realizing he has a 22 pin lead. However, there's a potential 224 left in Marshall Holman. And that could squeeze Weber if he can throw some strikes. Boy, those last two oh, shots. Yes. Beautiful. Those were confident swings by Marshall Holman. He got a bad break in the eight frame where he left a solid eight, but he can still win this match and the tournament. Weber still has to perform to stay ahead of Holman. Eighth frame. Big double, big double for St. Anne, Missouri's Pete Weber. 31 year older with 21 titles. He is a triple crown winner. Defending champ. This is the shot that Weber wants. He's on the icy lane surface of the left hand lane. Gives him a little room left of his target of margin. But he can't throw it too far right. This is to open a commanding lead. Demonstrative, Pete. See Weber just sawing all over that ball. Head pin's going to do most of the damage. Oh, a big double for Marshall Holman. Next week, we head to Akron for our season's grand finale. It's the most coveted title on the tour and the third jewel in bowling's triple crown. The General Tire Tournament of Champions live next Saturday at 3 to Central right here on ABC. Marshall Holman can still win this match. He must strike on the next two balls and we that would force Weber to mark. Today is $43,000 to the winner of uh, the next game coming up next week at 65,000. Marshall contemplating the score. He knows he has a chance. Take your time. Anything can happen. This is the sport of bowling. Don't take it for granted that Weber will mark. Stranger things have happened, but he must throw this strike. Soft. Holman a pretty solid game. He left the 2-4 in the first frame, threw a double, and left the wall shot seven. One errant shot in the fifth. After that, other than this shot, it's bowled very well today. Good. Look at that. Converting the split. Like it's an everyday affair. What a great champion. 
accuracy, mm. as we said, 95% of the game, and Pullman is perfect on that spare. Weber just needs five balls. It's a winner. Marshall Holman, one of a kind. Pete Weber, soon to become one of a kind. Two demonstrative players. Pete now has a chance to break that 21 title uh, tie that they share and uh, Oklahoma City. Let's give Holman credit. He acquitted himself well. He's back, and he'll be a contender from now on. 108 television appearance for Marshall Holman. 108. Formidable foe in Pete Weber, who's going to roll out a 250 game. Pete has is in his 68th television appearance. Kim Weber. Two fifty-six to two ten. Final score of the semifinal.